Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, so you clicked part one. That means you're so interested in learning 3D Studio Max. That means you are ready to ride. Let's do this. Let's jump into the super basic things about the program. Now, there's a few requirements that you need. First off, you're going to need, well, a computer. Two, you're going to need a keyboard. And three, you're going to need a mouse. Now, you're not just going to, you need a mouse that has a middle click button. That means your scroll wheel needs to be able to click down or what I do is I actually have a mouse that I can program uh, some buttons on. I have a Logitech mouse and I have programmable buttons. So that's what I did. I just programmed one of my side buttons as a middle mouse button. If you, if you for some reason, your middle mouse button doesn't click, but you have programmable buttons, try doing that. Try mapping them out in your uh, program, whatever you have. Okay, so there we go. You will need that middle mouse click though, because that's the, that's what you do to do things like this and that and uh, well, a lot of things here. Okay, so there you go. Now you know the requirements. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the basics. Viewports, what are viewports? These are your viewports, one, two, three, and four. You can see that this is your front viewport, this is your top viewport, and this is your left viewport, and well, another and. This is your perspective viewport right here. Now, these are your windows to your 3D world. I mean, everybody knows, or at least you should know by now, that when you make a 3D object, that object may not look the same as it does on the front view as it does in the top view, okay? Unless you have like a cube or something which looks the same on each on each frame or each viewport, uh, I mean, you need those side windows so you can see what you're doing as you're modeling or what you're doing as you're moving things around. And I'll give you guys a good example in the future, but uh, there, that's all you need to know for now. Now to activate a viewport, you need to right click it. See how it has like a yellow box around it? I'm right clicking these. If I have the left viewport selected and I try to go over here to the front viewport, I mean, it's it's just not going to work well. Okay? If you if you try to work in the front viewport, it's it's trust me, you want to activate the viewport be before doing anything in there. Okay? So, I mean, yeah. I I really Okay. Now, to get the front view, let's say you accidentally mess up each viewport, okay? You're accidentally uh you know, you messed everything up, and you can see this is now orthographic. And this was front, what was this, top and left? All right, wh wh what do I do, Jerry? I'm kind of screwed up here. I don't need, I don't even know what to do. Well, press the key F. Boom, we're back in front view. Press T, top view, and L for left view. Or what you can do is click right here and go down to the perspective, orthographic, top, bottom, back, left, and right. You know, that's just how you get them back. How they are. Now, a key that you want to remember is Z. Z is a shortcut to pretty much get you back on track of where you are. So check it out. Remember this, where this what a grid line is. If I move this over here, move this one over there, move it here, and move the perspective kind of off. Everything's just off, and this will make more sense as I start working with an actual object. But if I press Z, everything just you know, gets back where you are. It just centers everything. So keep that in mind. So far we learned our viewports, front, top, left, and perspective. And we've learned how to get those to those manually. We've learned the shortcut keys, which can also be over here, if you look right there. And we've also learned about the Z key, which just centers everything. So far you're actually learning a lot. I mean, trust me. All right, so those are our viewports. Um, they are a view into our 3D world. Just know that. Now, Let's go ahead and uh, learn how to kind of move around each of these windows. Okay, Jerry, so I saw you moving these things around like that, but how do I do that? Well, if you hold down your middle mouse button, just hold down middle mouse and drag around the mouse, there you go. It'll start moving around like that. Okay, that's panning. Now, let's say we want to zoom in and out. Right click and activate the viewport and scroll in and out. You can also orbit. Let's say you want to, let me go in perspective view. You can orbit by holding Alt and middle clicking. And now you can drag around. Now look at that. That's another way that you can get up and personal with your 3D objects. All right. So we have a lot of stuff down already. Now, Jerry, let's just say I don't have a middle mouse button. And until I do get one, how can I do these things? Well, you have down here, check it out. You have your pen, your view. So I'm just, I'm now left clicking. Okay, I'm not using that middle mouse button anymore. And right here, I have <clears throat> zoom. I can, you know, there we go, zoom like normal. And I can even orbit. See? 
It's actually better if I orbit on the perspective view. You never really want to orbit in your front top and left views. These are usually, you know, the normal workflow is that you, you keep these on those side views and you only move around in the perspective view. This way you can get yourself nice and organized and you'll have nice views. All right, so that's kind of a lot right there. Those are all the viewports. Uh, I need you to practice moving these around. Uh, before you go into the next video, just make sure you get yourself familiar with doing these really simple tasks. All right, and uh, let's just go over really quick the name of some of some of the parts of the program. Um, let me see here. Up here we have the main toolbar. Okay, right here we have the control panel. All right, we have the timeline for animation. We have I don't know what these are the viewports, and that's really all you need to know for now. I mean. Yeah, these right here are your navigation and viewport tools. So, I mean, there you go for that. Uh, yeah, we'll learn more as we go on. So, just know that that's the basics. That's how you move each of your viewports around. Uh, very simple, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into part two, which will actually be starting to create objects. And I'll be able to show you these viewports, the way you move the viewports, the way they actually work. Okay, so go ahead and click part two.